Rare relic versus common relic. Ooh, rare relic, huh? Ooh, a lot of elites. Spicy. Spicy, spicy. Damn, that's four elites. If you have the most bonkers thing, that's four elites sparkle as well. Jesus Christ. Hey, mango. So the last time I around, we, we were memeing. We took like a protector strike ever, so I was memeing up a little bit. I, I could have won that run if I didn't take those cards, I think. Do you want to get a shop? Just to get like a potion and go this way or just skip the shop altogether? Go for a lot of hallway fights and get ourselves situated for three elites. Two elites or three. All right, let's go. We're, we're quite literally running it back. Even got the same rare relic. Our poison just the best. Uh, it's, it's like poison is the most efficient. Yeah. So even wild strike, repeat the process. You guys want to try good face? You guys want to yolo? I never do this because I think the downside is so bad in a such a twenty. Pog, let's go. Alright, let's prioritize these uh, these uh, question marks. Brutality versus clothesline. Brutality, don't sleep on this card. Extra card draw kind of also nullifies the fact that um, I have Wild Shrek in the deck, so the wound is less impactful. The weaken is just pretty damn premium important though for Act 1. It's tough. Like, I like this power. Weaken is really good for the Guardian in general. We also get 100 gold by this path. Hey, maybe you can get 150. Is it about not working just for me, or is it universal right now? What's up, Rose? Alright. I still like Perfected Strike for like, early fun loaded, it's fine. Even though we have a Wild Strike for that. I still think Perfected Strike... Oh, we're going down the same route again. Perfected strike, wild strike, clothesline, bash, two cost conundrum. I could probably skip this. All right. All right. Perfect strike. You're gonna be in? Nope. I'm skipping you, buddy. All right, perfect strike. Where are you? I need you. I need you, perfect strike. I, I take it back. I regret everything. I take it all back. I also grabbed some food. Pretty damn good. Power through. Power through is a block card that is pretty damn good. True Grit versus Armament. True Grit does manage the wound that I'm adding to my deck. Manages the strike. The True Grit helps me have more consistent block for the Guardian. Armament does the same thing. Armament allows me to upgrade my, my existing defense and strikes for the Guardian as well. It might just be True Grit here. Damn. Let's upgrade it. We also want to upgrade our damage cards, like Bash and Wild Strike. Because we're fighting elites at the end of the day. Upgrade here. Yikes. Uh, our deck's a little bit awkward. I 
Yeah, I don't even know how what we can do against these elites. Carnage. That's the front loader that I was looking for. That's the card I want to upgrade. That's what okay, we have a lot of two cost cards though. <laughs> Ancient T is quite nice, for, especially in my conundrum of two cost cards. Alright, we look for the carnage and win the game. Well, what do I say? Now if we hit double strike, the fight's over. But we also have lethal next turn. Except I don't, I lied. Do we see what we get here? There's a very low chance. Alright, there's two defense and rest attacks. Nice. Kill the horde. So now we get power through. Now the block card of power through comes back. This is a very good face. This face is so good. Pa power through versus cut through. Uh, trigger number two. Oh, he needs the right corner? Yeah, my face? Yeah, un unfortunate. This face is uh, probably one of the worst. Second true grip. Do I want to upgrade it? Maybe, let's say I want to upgrade Close Under Bash instead. I like the true. I also like Power Through. I think Power Through is so good. I just don't know. I'll take Power Through here. That's fine. Damn. We got ourselves another one of them carnages. Cleave for AoE, sign me up. Alright, triple sentry, boom. Uh, I'm curious, I'm very curious. So this goblet is like for bits. If someone throws bits or throws a sub, it, it pops off. Let's see what we get. Hint of greed or something. Interesting. So Dark Embrace kind of just wins this fight. But I also want to see if I can kill the guy on the right right now. Do I just take a Dark Embrace and win the fight? Yeah, sure. Why not? That just wins the fight. Why not? E, so why not, my friend? How are we doing against Gremlin Love? I think we're Carnage. We just destroyed Gremlin Love, right? We just destroyed Gremlin Love. So how are we doing against Lack of Volden? Whoa! Demon form. Um. So do we want to go for another elite or another question mark? We get 50 gold. I think the elite's probably better. Let's also upgrade the clothesline for... Oh, that's unfortunate. I didn't get Bash or Carnage or anything else. Or even form. Do you want to see what this does? Alright, so if I play Madness, I actually have Lethal, yeah? So let's say I do... If I do Carnage, True Grit, that, and the Madness, I uh, lethal. Alright. Power through number two, Pummel, Twin Strike. Um... Path is a very good block card. Pummel dumps our demon form strength. Pummel is dumb, good for demon form. So is Twin Strike, I suppose. No, no, no. 
Yeah, I'll probably lean toward Pummel here. Now, Power Through, I like that card a lot. It's a really good block card. Only if we can evolve. I'm not going to take two of them. I'm going to upgrade the Weakened here. We get more mitigation. Wowie, wowie, wowie. We got Demon Form. Yeah, we, but the thing is, we don't necessarily need... I want to take advantage of Trugate. I want to try to get a Wild Strike. I'm not going to need any Wild Strike. I think we make a deck more consistent here. I can let Carnage go to waste as well. And I hear what you're saying, like, Pummel is good for... Uh, Trugate is better because it doesn't exhaust. We have way too many strikes in the deck as well, so Twin Strike is not as necessary. Uh, we should be fine on damage, like, even if... We should be fine here. I mean, I should be pushing damage, though. Mm, I should be pushing damage. Anyways, we're, we're fine. Like, again, I want to it again. To manage these strikes, but... Eh. So, we get, we're getting rid of Carnage at this point. We don't really need it. GG. Okay. So we got Demon Form and Exhumed Fiend Fire. Demon Form number two is only crazy if Snake Y exists. Fiend Fire dumps our strength and gets rid of a lot of these strikes we don't care about. Like, goodbye strikes, get out of here. It also helps with power through. So, power through with Fiend Fire combo is pretty nice. Exhumed is a very good card. We don't currently have Exhumed value. But I'll tell you what, Exhumed has a lot of. Potential at any point of the run. I think Fiendfire is just to play here. Pandora's Felber. I'm addicted to Pandora's box. I might have a problem. I might have a problem. So I currently hate all the strikes that are in my deck and the defense. I would love to just Pandora's all of these cards. Just nine cards out of my deck. The thing is, I also want energy because I have Demon Form. And it feels like Snake Velvet Choker is pretty good here. Velvet Choker, I don't really plan to play more than six cards. Maybe down the line that could become a problem if things like Medkit and Dark Embrace or, you know, Corruption. Things could happen where Choker is bad. But if we're talking strictly what's best right now, Choker is just the best card. Best relic here. Grunlinghorn, Choker, so so. I mean, with Grunlinghorn, maybe you get choked sometimes with Choker, yes. But 4 energy is pretty damn important when I have these 2 cost cards with Carnage, Bash, and Clothesline, and I have a Demon Form and a Fiend Fire. Like, energy is really important here. And we could take the Curse Key so we don't have the limitation of Joker down the line like later on in, different, in the other acts. But Curse Key still gives you chests. Sorry, still gives you curses for the next... Uh, I mean, we have a lot of gold and we can remove curses and we don't have to limit ourselves with Joker, I suppose. It's, cur it's, it's key or uh, Joker. I love Pandora's, I really do. I just think the energy is too important with the cards that we have right now. Curse key with Fiendfire, yeah, so you can get rid of the Curse sometimes with Fiendfire. Um, we have a true good as well to manage it. Choker is just better. There's really no downside right now. The downside comes later. Ha. Huh. Why is it so hard for me? I think we just take Joker here. But I, I can see where our word messes us up. Let's just focus on the now. Okay. Look at that shop. I also want to get some events. Like, these events... Look at that. Fit 100 gold right there. Sparkle. Uh, it's only one of elite. Can we do more than one elite? Boom. Oh my... Oh my god. I don't even... I have no words. I have no words. Those ones are gonna suck. This fight's gonna suck. <laughs> Everything about this fight's gonna suck. Alright, it wasn't too bad. Super Ring dumps our strength. Do we want a Super Ring? At the moment, I'm gonna resist. I'm gonna resist, resist, resist. 
Oh boy, okay. So we can get rid of a card to get a heal. We can get rid of one of these stupid strikes. No offense to strikes. Look at this gold racking up, guys. So we're getting rid of power through now. Yikes. Yikes. So we do if we do fiend fire. We're getting 30 damage for getting this out of my deck. 30 damage is pretty good because we have Carnage, Bash, and Wild Strike. Really? Pummel number two. Intimidate gives us a letter opener. It weakens sometimes. Pummel number two. Who's the boss? Eh. All right, this fight is a little bit difficult. Except this is a pretty good opening hand. Absolutely need to drop some strikes. I'm with you there, brother. Waste pummel now. Yikers. Uh. Okay. Uh, this is awkward. Eh. Uh, this is awkward, mate. I'd help somebody out. Uh. No bash. Feed. Feed versus Headbutt. Headbutt brings back cards I want to play more often, like Carnage number two, Fiendfire for the no time, Pummel when I need it. Headbutt brings back the True Grits and the Power Through when I need it. Feed is feed is feed is a feed. Feed, feed, feed. Fuck. Decisions. Alright, let me think here. We get a lot of gold. Guys, we get. Oh my god, we're gonna be rich at the next shop. No, 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 no. All right, do you guys think this is worth it? So we get triple the chance of rare cards, and rare cards are like uh, imperviouses, the offerings, the corruptions, the exhumes, more feats, Reaper, Reaper, Reaper. Ah, it might be. It might be worth it. That open is good for AoE, but the rares? The rares are really good. I really want to upgrade the Cleave for it, we, but I also want to get Feed upgraded so I can get that max HP going. I also want to upgrade Fiend Fire. I'm going to be greedy, greedy, greedy. When we start seeing some of those rares, it's, you bet your bottom dollar is going to be worth it. You're going to be screaming Hallelujah. I think it's worth it to do double damage here because I can potentially snipe this guy out. So Bash does 11, so he's at 57, and then I do 1, 2, 3, 45. Just want to get feet off. I know we're losing HP. I know, I know, I know. It's fine. I know. So, is guaranteed feed next turn? I don't. I'm not missing anything here, right? Okay, good. Just feed next turn. Just 
Shockwave is big money gas. gas. Big money gas. Pure money gas. Alright. Oh my god, imagine if I had to lose my gold. You're kidding me. I have 36 damage. Which is not quite enough. I'm gonna kill this guy. Alright. I don't like this fight. I'm scared. Big scared. Huge scared. I really want to do Bash. Honestly, it might just be Bash Strike. Demon Form is too slow. It might just be Bash Strike and trying to get lethal on Romeo. I think Demon Form is too slow. I'm sorry to say it, buddy. I think it's Bash Strike power through. Ah, I can't do Fiend Fire and Feed. Yikes. Unless I draw into Carnage. We're going to have to rest and go for the... The shop has to be huge, guys. At the, we're at the point now where like the elites are kind of hard, actually. And I have all this gold going for this one big-ass shop. But I got to get the two elites. And I'm not... Mm, I'm a little bit scared. Save one life here. All right, I want to get feed. I really want to get feed. Don't know if it's possible, guys. That feeling when it's not possible. Cause we gotta kill next turn, right? The uniform would be good, but. We have to do the 30 something damage right now. Getting getting demon from turn, first turn is pretty important. Yeah, yes, I got a lot of money from that. We need, we need to get survived. We need to survive. We need to survive, guys. We gotta survive these two elites. The shop has to be huge. That's big damage. But I want to save life. Wait, do I have lethal with... Ah, uh, but I want to get feed. Yikes. Mm, I really want feed here. Okay. Survive, 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 survive. Skip pot, nice. Skip. Survive, survive, survive. Alright, we survived this, boys. Oh, we gotta lose Carnage? Say it ain't so. Do I, do I just kill the, this little gremlin, actually? Do I kill this little gremlin so that I don't get the debuffs and he doesn't attack me next turn? If I do that, I'll complete Carnage? That's fucking huge brain. Like, massive brain. Ish. Do I ever do like shock? Scoot? Nah. Shockwave cleave? Oh, mama. Mama, there goes that man. We got pummel. We're going to set up for feed. Mama, there goes that man. Give me feed, baby. Oh, what a beautiful elite fight. Oh, I'm short of cumin right now. Nice. Strike tell me. Yeah, it's not bad. Limit break, burning pact, and the perfected strike. Oh, the, this is coming out so beautifully, guys, because we have so much gold. We're getting max HP. The shop's coming up. Everything's coming up daisies, baby. Pushing up daisies, rather. Something like that. I don't know. That's a boomer expression. I'm only half boomer. All right, so burning pact for card draw or limit break for... It breaks a little redundant because we're doing from first turn, so it's burning packs here. 
Apotheosis. Mmm, that is a self-forming clay. Okay, self-forming clay is huge. Self-forming clay is very large. Ori is very good as well. So we're taking self-forming clay always. I'm buying that, snapping that, hitting that. Boom. Let's take a look at Apotheosis here. Also some potions should be considered because we do have potion belt, which is very good. Apotheosis can catch up with some upgrades. I have to draw into it. And if I draw into it, I play it, and it gives me some value. I don't know how good it is, to be honest. Let's do the card first. I mean, Orrery first, rather. And Talos is going to do some more card draw. Whirlwind is AoE. We're kind of lacking AoE, are we not? I hate to do it, but I think I have to do it. Twin Strike is dumping our strength, and it has Strike Dummy attached to it. But I want the block called Ghostly Armor. This is currently a really big way to dump my strength, but maybe not necessary. Second Wind is interesting. Second Wind has some synergy with Power Through, and it's a, a nice one of card to have in a deck. I think I want the Ghost Armor for block, right? Because we just had we had damage, we seen the block. So now it's about to chug it off Whirlwind. I think Whirlwind's... The AoE's nice. So we're about to fight... Slavers. Potentially. The Whirlwind will be good there. But Gremlin Heart is pseudo AoE. I always say this. If I could single target them down... It's not the worst. If I don't have AoE. Because single target. And this guy doesn't really care that much about Whirlwind. Or is it just been Pommel? Pommel Strike is a different one. So I think we take, if we really want to focus on our block, we do shrug it off and ghost armor here. And then our block's kind of in line. Even though it has a whirlwind plus, though. Palmer Strike is card draw if we upgrade it. Metallicize gives us some more draw. Is that power worth it? A little metallicize? It's hard to say. There's not, there's not a lot to this order, actually. Now, it's always been Pummel. Pommel Strike is a different card. This is Pommel Strike. Boom. All right. Do we think we really want Whirlwind for Act 2, guys? It helps with Darklings, Jawworms. It helps. It's bad against the Thorny Boys, but it, it does help a lot for Reptilmancer as well. I think we take the Whirlwind just for uh, some fights in Act 3. Even though we don't love it. There's, there are fights that we care about it. I mean, I guess Grumman Horn does exist, though. Fuck. Struggle off is pretty good, guys. Alright, I'm doing Ghostly here. We have Cleave. Cleave works. I'm taking Shrug. I'm taking the Shrug. Second Wind is a nice one of. I just don't see how much value I can... I don't have that much card draw. But Second Wind sometimes is pretty damn good for Power Through and other statues you might be getting. Second Wind doesn't feel like it's the play right now. It doesn't feel very relevant. Sir Boomerang does dump our strength. Maybe I'll take the Sir Boomerang. Now, I'll take the Shrug. I think we either take the Mentalicize or Pass. Now, do we think Mentalicize helps that much with our block? If we upgrade it, it adds an extra 4. What's up, Miss MDS Devil? How you doing? Take card relic for gift. Ah, so you want to take question card for gift? That's not, that's kind of cute. Question card for gift. That's kind of cute. Wait, if I take question card before Ori, do I get more cards? Did I just miss out big on question card Ori? Should I just reevaluate my whole decision? Fuck. So now we don't take question card out of spite. We don't take it out of spite. We're like, you know what? Fuck that. I don't want to even know the five cards I missed out on. That's a bad philosophy to have. I'm just kidding. Uh, gift is triple the rare card, rare card chance. Uh, science scene doesn't feel very good.
Question card works for Ori. I'm pretty sure, yeah. We can, we can, we can try. You guys want to test if it works? I don't really want to sign invalidated streaks, you know. I'm pretty sure it does work together. I don't know how good question card for end gifts it actually is though. I, I'm actually fine with not taking end gifts. It's fine. We're about taking question card. All right, metallicizer pass. Let me think. I like metallicizer. No, because I already picked a lot of cards. But Red Beardy, I already picked a shit ton of cards. We could test. Yeah, we could test it. It will help with end gift, sure, but I'd rather spend money for something else. Apotheosis. I think I think, I think Apotheosis is pretty good. We're kind of behind on upgrades. Absolute boomerang, so we don't have heavy blade. I take short boomerang instead. I want to remove a strike. Um. I'm, not, I'm trying to evaluate how good Apotheosis is. We have to draw into Apotheosis, and then from there, upgrades my defense strikes, and then upgrades things like... Apotheosis doesn't feel that good here. Apotheosis doesn't feel that good. Alright, so I think I take another shrug of anything, though. I'm gonna pass. Do we, is there a world where we take the, um... Flex Pot? For helping with lethal? I don't think so. Do we, do we actually like the upgrade potion for later on? Oh, my dog's, my dog's reacting up. Those don't seem that great. Let's save our money here. Alrighty. Fiend fire. Er. I want to get back into the feet somehow. Ah, uh, fuck. I want to get a lot of damage right. I'm going to do this. Uh, I think we have lethal. So you don't get feet off. We can't really actually get lethal here. Well, I do, right? Yeah, do I have lethal? Damn. It's fine. Oh, if I hand. Oh, oh my lord. Oh, if I hand into a barricade? Barricade can get a lot of value. So, what happens is we take a lot of damage off from a clay. Barricade then keeps that block. Barricade just opens up a lot of stuff. And we have. Uh, barricade is just a very good power. Ah, oh, Barricade is so good. Alright. I wonder if we upgrade Barricade to make it more playable. Potions don't cost energy, and potions don't, you don't have to draw into them. Apotheosis, you have to draw into it, they cost energy, and then... It, it's it's awkward in this, this deck. It's awkward. Um, do I need to rest for this fight? I don't think so. We have to from opening hand. And we can survive... We just gotta survive the hyper beam. So we gotta make sure we apply weaken. We do have shockwave, we have bash, and we have clothesline. So we can be able to get weakened. If we get weakened off, we're fine. I like the barricade to be making more playable because I think it's pretty important. We need some excess block, and if we have some excess block, we, should, we don't need to rest here. I like the barricade upgrade. I also like things like metallicize because that's going to be some incidental. No. I like the barricade upgrade here. Am I being greedy by not resting? There's a chance. I don't think so. There's a world where I should have done feed there and get it out of the deck. And I, I, I come back and bite me in the ass, by the way. I think I get rid of Carnage because I have to get rid of this guy's artifacts. It's really important. 
Alright, my fiend fire and my barricade is gone. Alright. Let's get that let's get that barricade back. Should got rid of the strike or something. Got shockwave. I think we don't need wild strike anymore. Do we do we see if we can kill one of them? Only for like extremely lucky. I guess wild strike is worth it, right? Just to get that out of just to kill that guy. Even though that's probably one I want to get rid of. Barrick is probably okay to play, but we're taking damage to play it. It's worth it for after this turn, Bar having Barrick out is going to be really irrelevant. I think we're playing it. Oh, shit. Alright. So if I play Metallus, I get it out of the deck. Okay. We got choked, but you know what? Pretty damn good turn. He's weakened still for the multi-hit. Oh, this is GG. He got the weaken off. Oh, this is GG. Oh my god, this is gorgeous. Oh, how beautiful. Oh, how wonderful. Oh my god, how beautiful. Stop it. Alright, let me go just make sure my dog's okay. So we got a nice feed off there. Do we ever want to do Exhum? For Fiend Fire again, and whatever else I might draw or get in this, this run. Or Brutality, because I can play it opening hands. I can make Demon Form free. And by drawing 6 cards a turn, I get into my Barricade and everything else sooner. I get bigger Fiend Fires. I get into my Defense cards, my Barricade sooner. My Strength Demon cards more. I mean, obviously, Brutality, I makes it make, there's a good case for it. It also procs so from playing every single turn. I think Azum has too much going for it, but Brutality is probably something I'll take down the line. Because self and Clay, card draw, all good things. All good things. That's card draw. Brutality with that. Damn, that's that's seven card draw a turn with Brutality. Jesus Christ. Rudy Cube is no joke. But we gotta do Astral Lave, Astral Lave on the last three strikes. We, we got to. The, the, the strikes are the worst thing in our deck. Strike dummy, yeah, you're just, you are where you are, but, you guys are just way too loud. Can you guys hear the dogs? I can't, I can't, like, get them in the room because they're so loud. Whoa, we got another Shubber uh, sub Ring, very nice, more strength dumping. We got a Fire Breathing, which is not bad, one fight hand, decent powers, whatever. And a Sever Soul, we'll figure that out. I forgot what Severus Soul does. Alright, so guys, question marks is Mind Bloom plus more gold. And uh, big shops. Oh my god, look at this path. Oh my god. Look at this path. Yikes, you guys are doing some big damages. I would like a Reaper, please. I'm rich because I have Serpent Head. I'm trying to feed. What's the best way to get back into feed? That fight is awkward to get feet off. Alright, so dual wield, I can dual wield my powers. And dual wield powers is really fucking good actually. Excuse my French. Because we have more fat hands. So dual wield metallicize. Pretty damn good. What else can we dual wield? I mean dual wield demon form is a little bit of a meme, but dual wield metallicize is actually a good way to scale up block because of more fat hand. Is there a wicked one? Not not quite. Do we also hit skill uh, attacks? So we can do things like double feed, where other attacks might come down the line. I'm gonna skip it for now, but 
I do think the duo has a place. I'm gonna buy like three potions. Oh my god. Wait, that event's actually huge when you have potion boat. Like that, look at that value. Guys, I'm taking Fairy in the Bottle to the end game. That's coming with me all the way to the end game. I need, I, need, I need a repair at this point. I need sustain of some sorts. Uh, I think it might be worth to do like the memories for some block, right? As long as I don't draw into uh, feed. Or I guess I draw into feed now. Let's try to get into feed, hopefully. Okay, nice. Ooh, end gift. I'm excited. Boom. Huge. All right. So there's bottle lightning. Eh. That's a horn cleat. That's a pretty good block. I can remove. At this point, how do we feel about Sever Soul? Like, maybe I want to remove Wild Strike instead. Sever Soul, it's whatever. I never want lethal, I want feed always, so lethal doesn't mean much to me when feed exists. So we got Berserk. We don't have Pellet, so it's not as good. I think I just like the Horn Clean passing. Don't the Sing of Courage could help me a little bit. Eh, it's whatever. Do one sparkle and that's it. I want to save money for the next shop. I, I do want to remove. That's a hundred gold to remove. At this point, double silver boomerang feels kind of bad. It's like I might remove one silver boomerang. There's also removing wild strike or sever soul. I'm not sure. I'm just gonna pass for now. I'd rather, I'm getting some gold. Good gold, man. We need sustain. We need some sustain. I'm curious. I don't want to take too much damage. That's fine. I don't like I barrack it out. Gleave is fine still. Still relevant for Reptomancer. Relevant for Reptomancer and uh, some other fights. Gleave is still necessary at the moment. That's a lot of damage, but we gotta wait. Mm, slow. Just some fiber in the first, maybe. Do we ever do liquid memories now just to save this life? I feel like saving life is pretty important here. You know, we also do liquid to, like, to um, get lethal as well, I suppose. Alright, we're gonna need to. Our block's a little bit suspect. Jeez, why does it feel like I have no damage? What is going on? That's pretty fucking good damage, but this is called a crap shoot. What's gonna happen is I may get a parasite. We call it rolling the dice. Hey, we rolled the dice, we won. I don't recommend doing that. This is called lethal. Now, the funny thing about lethal is I should have done feed last turn so I can exhume it. The funny thing about lethal is that we rather do. We'd rather get feed. But in a world where you could die, um, yeah, you should be careful. Alright, we're just getting that much closer. That much closer to feed. Just getting that much closer to feed, guys. We're almost there. A lot of block. And boom. It's worth Entropic Brew is good. Now, power through... It's a very good block. The thing is, we don't have Evolve. But we do have Sever Soul, True Grit. We don't have Evolve. Uh, I don't know. Second Power Through? And it's pretty good with Barricade. It's a good block card. Uh, 
I'll do it. I'm trying to determine if I want to do an elite or, or go to the question marks instead. I can do one question mark or do one elite. Ooh, this fight could be rough. This fight could be rough, guys. Do we try to save life here? Nah, I don't think Whirlwind. I had the opportunity to think about Whirlwind as AoE. I'm using Gremlin Horn and Cleave as my AoE stuff. Yeah, I think the removal targets are probably just uh, uh, Sword Boomerang and Sever Soul. Yeah, those are the removal targets. Right, Wild Strike, Sword Boomerang, Sever Soul. I'm removing those three cards. How else can we stay, save life here? It's not, we can't save that much. We, we do always a friend bottle, it's fine. Sever Soul is pretty good here, right? Oh god, not here. Alright, well this becomes a, a good time for... Entrench. Ah, uh, I wish I had energy, guys. This is like a lot of good cards here. A lot of good cards there. I'm never getting feet on that. Zoom is good for Impervious. Taking one damage, anchor would be huge for us. All right. Second shockwave. Shockwave is pretty good. Do you want a second one though? Sever soul. Uh, if I do so, Exhum can hit Pervious, right? Interesting to think about. Speak of the devil. We got the Exhum, but I didn't play it because I don't have barricades. It doesn't mean much. I really want to play this Entropic Brew, man. I'm taking too much damage. Barricade doesn't even do much here. Going for Lethal is more important with like Pummel and uh, stuff like that, right? Hmm. Who wants pizza? We always want pizza. Alright, we'll go for Lethal here. We gotta feed. We could get lethal now. But it's, you don't take damage by doing this. And feed is too important. Oh no. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Don't sell me. Ah, uh, don't, don't. We 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 get exhum. Exhum, exhum's gonna exist. Exhum. Huge. Bloodpot's great. Evolve. Boom. Okay. Bye. Alright, this is a huge shop. Ready? We get a lot of gold. Alright, this fight's kind of rough. Alright, so... I'm going for 50% chance here. Got it. It's important when you're evaluating luck that you look at the times where I wasn't lucky there. Like right there, I wasn't lucky. Boom. I 
Um, hmm. Fire Strike is some decent damn damage. One, two, three. Feed. I drops it and gift popped. Got funeral pain though. Ah, uh, yeah. I seem a little bloated. All right. All right. So here we want to like try to do shockwave and demon form. So it's gonna be difficult. Can you see, we weren't lucky there. Oh my god, the double shockwaves. You're trolling. This fight sucks. Oh, we gotta do like some brother harm stuff, I guess. Not bad. We can exhume, we can get multiple Ooh. We can get some an exhume on that guy. It's pretty nice. Fire breathing accelerates this fight, it makes me kill the thrown boiler easier. I want to try to get the um, feet off on this guy. So this is a quick zoom. Zoom is far away. I don't want to do too much damage because there's world where uh, see that that stuff's gonna do too much damage. I can't even play power through here because I don't want to add any more wounds to the deck. I already have one wound. That, if I draw that wound, I, I so I can get unlucky here, right? If I draw that wound, I can't kill this guy with feed. And we luckily didn't draw the singular wound, but it was possible. All right, they drop a potion. Nope. Talos has again. I'm gonna skip. The thing is, I would have. Let's see what the shop has to offer. Dark embrace. Okay, that's a good one. Dark embrace is a good one. Flame bear is. Pantograph is good. Uh, duplication pods are very good. Pentagraph is really good. Dark Embrace is really good. Double duplication pods are very good. Uh, do we like duplication pod over Flame Barrier? Flame Barrier helps my overall block. My block's kind of shabby. So, the duplication pod is really good to hold on to for the heart. I guess we could do. Can we do both? We're just short of both. Um, duplication pot for things like double funeral pain or double demon form or like double impervious. Duplication pot might win over, I think. Blood vial. All right, this is a good fight for us. There's no real reason to draw except for like a little bit more damage and get drawn out the bad shit. Get powers out. It's a good turn for powers. Choked. I mean, I would like to remove, but I can't really get to a point where I remove. Where's my impervious? We're not impervious yet. So that's good damage. I would like to get. I think we just do Fiend Fire now, right? Uh, we'll probably just do Fiend Fire now. I want to keep maybe True Grit. Maybe we try to get Feed back again. There goes the Exhum. There's Impervious and Exhum. That's really bad. We shot Gold without Impervious Exhum. That's really, really bad. That's really fucking bad. I 
I used to go for lethal now, right? We don't care about feet here. Let's let's see. Where will we get feed? Um, we have pantograph. I don't know if he's worth it here. Try to get feed. Oh, of course. Jerkin. Headbutt's very good. Headbutt. Very good card to have. So, for this fight, probably get feed to get out of the deck. Now for this fight, we just gotta just block and then we one shot this guy. That's pretty easy. And then Dora Deco, we really good against Dora Deco. We have Dark Embrace, Final Pain, Evolve, all that stuff. Uh, against Time Eater, sorry, against Awakening One, we probably just Demon Form and Demon Form and just play Barricade, Demon Form Barricade. That's it. Kill the minions. I don't want to be too big, but I think we gotta save onto these things. So let's do this and get that feed out of the deck. Take this damage. Call it a day. Save a Doom for Imperfect, maybe. Rope Bug's probably fine. Demon Form is really good for that fight. Um, do, I, do I want to get rid of Bash? Like, Bash is pretty important to kill with things like Shobum Ring and Pummel, but at the same time. Hmm. I really want to play Trigger here. How much do you care about Burning Packs? I care about Bash more than Burning Packs, to be honest. Do I want to keep the Vulnerable on? Because we... right, I can play four cards now. Keeping the Vulnerable on is going to be useful. You know, I don't... We're not taking advantage of that damage right now. Let me get rid of these two defense. We don't care about those two defense in particular. Two cards next turn. Alright. Keeping Weakened and Vulnerable is not bad. Two cards only. If those two cards are only these two, I'm happy about it. We can headbutt something back like um like true grit, get rid of some things. Do we evolve and play? We do not. I could headbutt back power through for get my block going. Let's get this out of my deck. Let's do some damage. Firebrain now is relevant because now I have all these wounds with with evolve. Firebrain is pretty good. I want to do Pummel after Bash is applied. So I'm going to try to get that to be the case. I'd rather have a 10 foot tall horse or a 10, 10 1 foot tall horses. 10 1 foot tall horses. Let's see if we can get back into feed actually. We need to find our uh, zoom. Let's see if we find a zoom here. You guys want to try to go for feed or not worth? I mean, there's still one more way I can get feed. So I get a zoom next turn for feed. But then I need 200 something damage. Feed seems hard to get off here. I don't know. I guess since we have so much block, maybe it's maybe it's actually fine. Maybe it's fine because we have so much block. Because we do a barricade up. It's like we're not gonna lose 79 block that easily. And feed seems relevant. I think 10 foot. I think 10 one foot tall horses are really easy to kill or beat. Rather, a kill is a little bit rough. Word, but yeah, one foot tall things 
10 of those? And that seems trivial. There are times in my mind where I visualize that I, if, if, if things are dire enough, I could fight and kill like a full-size dog. If I'm, I'm, you know, you never, you never think to yourself like, worst comes to worst, if you ever got attacked by a rabid dog, like how you would survive? So in my mind, I know dogs are very, maybe I'm underestimating it, but I mean, I can imagine in a world where I need to survive and I'm being ruthless, I could handle like a full-size dog. So if you're looking at one foot tall horse, I mean, the things I can imagine in my head, it would be trivial. Anyways. Yeah, tennis is worth it. Poetry is worth it. Because it, it's not just poetry now, it's... It's important for, uh... Hey, rest from these wounds, you're doing too much damage. At this rate, I won't be able to get... I won't be able to get feet off because there's too many wounds. Yikes. Fire breathing doing too much damage. Never want to do it to Isaac. See, when there's no downside, feed is just upside. It's just pure upside. So we're always playing demon form in this fight. I'm just got real close to me there when I went for up. I think I kind of swoops. Yeah, they're probably scared of you too. So, Carnage Silver Soul kills the minions, but then I lose these cards. I lose Power Through Shrug It Off. We do have we do have two Power Through to Shrug It Off, so it's not the worst to lose those cards, but the reason why I don't want to lose Power Through in particular or Shrug It Off is because my secondary plan for this fight is to um, barricade and keep blocking. We have more than one power through in the fight, so I guess it's fine, right? I just want to get rid of my, my only consistent blocks. That's the problem. That's why Sever Soul is such an awkward card, but... Killing, killing those minions seems pretty important here, so... Do what you gotta do. Evolve seems... I don't need to play Evolve now, but... It does seem relevant for the fight at some point. Just not now. We have a lot of life to work with as well. Bring back like the true grit, cause true grit or cause we don't, we don't plan to play mentality here, right? Dark and basic, I can see myself wanting to play later on. I think barricade is worth it for this fight. Yeah, will we ever get extra block with impervious? Yeah. So that means I, I can't do burning back now because Well Jesus. But feeling pain is not worth it because I don't have Jeez. Uh I don't want to give him too much strength. Although I guess giving strength is not too Oh god.
one foot tall horses though one foot tall a one foot tall horse that weighs 180 to 200 pounds do you know how small the foot is you tell me a f okay a four foot <laughs> one foot tall I don't think it scales down proportionally like that It's hard, like one f one foot tall is very small. My foot is like 12 to 13 inches. Imagine small things that are like the size of my feet. I can destroy 10 amount, 10, 10 one foot things. Okay, if you're, if you're proportionally giving it Spider-Man strength, okay. I mean, things get hairy, but like... Anyways, we don't feel no pain for this fight, yeah? One foot tall. I, guys, I just want to specify. One foot tall. Just think about that. That's tiny. I wouldn't run away. I would destroy them. Should I try to exhume for feed? Uh, the problem here is... Try to get feet off, right? In this fight. I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. One foot tall, anything doesn't really intimidate me. Okay, I lie. One foot tall spiders? I'm fucking terrified. If we're talking spiders, I'm running as fast as I can. So, what do we upgrade here? Funeral Pain seems pretty important upgrade, right? Or Dragon Brace more playable? Probably Funeral Pain. That, 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 that block's gonna be relevant. Because we just gotta survive. We gotta use our max HP fairy in the bottle and our block to survive. And then once we have our strength scale up, we just win the fight. a regular eight-legged giant spider or eight one-legged ones one-legged spiders seem a little cl pretty clumsy one-legged spiders seem really clumsy that's almost laughable i can imagine a one leg okay it depends on how the one leg functions so if it's like one big sturdy thick leg that like has super strong and it can jump like okay one leg spider could be intimidating Oh, we have no money for all this stuff. Alright. Uh, I think I like my potions better. Magic Flower, okay, RP, Dolly's Mirror would've been kinda cool, whatever. Gambler's Proof for turn 2 of the Elite fight? Like, how much do we care about Liquid Thorns? So Liquid Thorns is saying, hey, I'm gonna give you damage for the hard fight. And I'm thinking, damage is probably what I don't I care the least about. Staying alive? I mean, I do care about damage, but the damage is gonna come in the form of me smacking them with Shrub Boomerangs, right? So I think we get rid of this for 
insurance of turn two, like the, the gamblers brew on turn two of the uh, elite fight here. Removing a card would be nice, but okay, let's say I remove a card. It probably is, no, it's probably yeah. It, I think it's gamblers brew here. You can see my power pot. Do we like power pot more than no? And tropic is pretty damn good. Yeah, I think I like gamblers brew. Let's go. I wish I had more potion slots, that would be kind of nice. Okay. This could be worse. It could be worse first turn. I'll be honest, it could be a worse first turn. Holy shit. That first turn was a doozy. Um, should we could take damage because... We have Panagraph, but we already took some damage. We don't have Reaper, so let's take a look at this. These powers are really good to play. Like, I want to play them. There's a world where I just go discard the burns anyways. So that I don't take that extra burn damage. And we can probably try to find something a little bit better. I don't know. Uh, I have Fair in the Bottle, so with Panagraph, Fair in the Bottle... And burning blood. I'm okay with taking this damage now because these powers are pretty good. Yikes, 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 yikes. So. I'm gonna waste my feed. Never mind, I lied. I lied, I lied, I lied. We're not wasting the feed here. I want to draw the burnout. I could just do this and not draw the burnout. Oh, I get less block. That's the reason why. Okay. So this is good damage, right? Do you want to do pummel now? It seems it seems okay. It seems fair. Losing shockwave, not bad. Sixty-nine block, quite nice. Uh, so we have Exhume for Impervious. Unfortunate part is that we can't play it. I'm pushing for damage now. Just got the Evolve out. So Fiendfire kills that guy, and then... Well, shit. We're in a tough situation because Fiendfire kills one, but Sword Boomerang is a doozy and a half. So let's say there's a world where I do Bash, Sword Boomerang, Cleave. Um, okay. There's a lot of things I could do here. It really depends on what your boomerang hits. And if I do bash or boomerang, there's a world where I don't kill anything and then I can't play Fiendfire after all. But if I just do Fiendfire here, this guy's really easy to block. So. I guess the problem is I never played Evolve. <laughs> I should have played Evolve, maybe, or Power, or power Breathing. So, this is too much damage. This is a perfect amount of damage. Attack Pot. Berserk, Headbutt, and Flame. Uh, headbutt number two, I don't really need. Um, I think we just win the I think we just win the run here. Does Berserk seems okay? More energy? Not nah, not really necessary. Inflame? No. Okay. Attack by versus these? Nope. Okay. So we're gonna double demon form, right? For damage. Pretty much always. Do we ever save double for impervious? This feels like a hard no, right? Yeah. We didn't get metallicized. That's a little unfortunate.
Do we ever want to just uh, gambler's brew here? Try to get better turn. Like, how much better can we get? No, just play our stuff. I guess we could have done our war there instead. This is when the turn gets good. Go for damage? Nah. All right. And now we get the impervious off when we're not frail, and we probably just win the run. The weekend is very good here. I like the power through, but this, wait, this is good. Jesus, we have Jesus Christ, we have good damage. Am I pushing for damage here, or, or am I like like letting corners go and playing power through for some block? Pummel now, yeah, sure, why not? I remember we do have uh, that I can brace. We still have a lot of powers. And by powers, I mean a lot of potions. Is what I meant to say. Fiend fire should bring. There's just a lot of shit going on here. More weaken. You guys want to go for feed lethal? There for the boys? Feed lethal for the boys? Alright. We got feed lethal for the boys, alright? So let's, let's take a look at this. Oh my god. And if the one fairy wasn't enough, we had three lives. You know what? Even more than that. We have this, this. Hell yeah. Yeah, that was it. We were prepared. We were prepared for that fight. We were prepared for that fight. That's cool. The problem is YouTube is not going to hear this, if I ever go to YouTube, is they're going to hear this conundrum about um, horses and lose their mind. <laughs>